the tape for this light heavyweight fight. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Forrest Griffin! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, by way of Memphis, Tennessee, Witton Rampage Jackson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Steve Mazzagatu. There she is, the beautiful Edith, getting us... Steve Mazzagatu, our referee. Forrest Griffin, Quentin Rampage Jackson. Time to begin round number one. Some people love to train. I don't think you could say that Quentin Rampage Jackson loves to train. No, he does not. You know, I mean, if you if you wanted to go by his work ethic, you know, I mean, he has tremendous work ethic when he's in his camp and when he's prepping for fights, but he doesn't like doing it. He likes fighting. He doesn't like preparing. How much of a detriment can that be for a fighter? Quentin Rampage Jackson is a perfect example. Tremendous, tremendous. I mean, you, you have to learn to like it. You have to learn to love it if you want to be one of the greats. You know, with great effort comes great result. And if Quentin Jackson truly wants to go down in history as one of the greatest fighters ever, he has to change his attitude about that. Nice left hand. Great reversal. Nice hook there. Swing and a miss. He missed that kick. Missed on the takedown attempt. Oh. And a knee to the body. Now able to posture up. Rampage, when he gets a position of dominance, Joe, he loves to finish the fight. Yeah, Rampage is very dangerous from the top position. He's got horrifying ground and pound and vicious elbows both to the head and to the body. It's all about control. One place you do not want to be with Quentin Jackson is working in the clinch. No, Quentin Rampage Jackson is an incredibly powerful man, and when he's got you in that clinch, he can land devastating strikes. Lands a couple right hands here. He decides to let him up. The fans here are so rabid. Wow. They're crazy. Can he get it? Two minutes remains in round number one. Joe looking for the takedown here. He's got a sprawl. Big shot! Caught him with a kick. Good body kick. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Quentin Rampage Jackson is a powerful fighter. But when he is put into the clinch, we've seen in the past that he can be a bit vulnerable. Well, he was definitely vulnerable to Vanderlei Silva's knees and elbows and strikes in the clinch. And the thing about Quentin is he's brutally strong, but he's not the most technical fighter in the world. Forty-five seconds remains in the first round. Pushing forward quickly. Thirty seconds remain. And the hand knocks him down. Looking for the takedown. And he decides to let him up. Double leg got it. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Final seconds of round number one. He's eating some punches. Joe, that round was so decisive, I'm surprised he didn't finish the fight there. Yeah, it was probably really close to being over. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Ground control is perfect. You almost finish it. Do not give the hand to go for the rear naked. Go Gable Grid. Go show him your hand. Okay. okay, breathe. You need to keep two hands up and throw one, two to the side. One, two to the side. Do not get in the slugging contest. The beautiful Ariani helps us to get round two started. Such 
time for round two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Quentin Rampage Jackson has as much personality in and out of the octagon as anybody who we have had around. One of the most charismatic and one of the funniest guys to ever fight in the mixed martial arts. I really believe the guy, if he didn't want to be a fighter, could make a living as a stand-up comedian. Would he be better than you? No. <laughs> Reversal. Very nice. And he's got he's side, side control. control. North-south. A minute into round number two. Oftentimes, if he doesn't want to take the fight to the ground, his opponent's not going to be able to do it either. Now, Forrest has excellent takedown defense. He's very well-rounded and very intelligent. And that intelligence allows him to train specifically for virtually any possibility that happens in the octagon. Tight in the clinch. And another takedown. He's pulling on the back of his head from his back to try to control his posture. And a right cross. Body shot. He ate one. Uppercut. Little dirty boxing. Right hand. Knocks him down. Joe, he's still a bit rocked here. He looks like he's on Queer Street to me. It is over. Good call by the referee. Let's take a look at that again, Mike. Man, here you see him just standing over him here. The referee, no choice but to stop this. He's not defending himself at all. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by TKO, Richard Rampage Jackson.